We also now know the name of that student who was killed uh, just days before his high school graduation. Kendrick Castillo was just 18 years of age, and CNN's Scott McLean just spoke with his parents uh, where they describe the indescribable, the moment they found out Kendrick didn't make it. Told me she in a text that he might have been at Littleton Adventist, so we had a police officer take us over there, rush us over there into the ER. And uh, they told us he wasn't there, and then that's when they broke the news to us in a small room that was adjacent to the nurse's station that, uh, you know, after we identified him, that he had passed and was still at the school at the scene. And that's when we found out, you know. But I kind of knew when he wasn't answering, you know. It's like you expect your kid to pick up the phone and tell you, you know, leave me alone. I was... I was a little bit guilty because as I was trying to call him, I thought, well, maybe this is the wrong thing. You know, maybe I'm putting his life at jeopardy by having the phone ring. So I was texting and I tried to FaceTime him and I was getting nothing. You know, my anxiety and my lump in my chest was growing. You know, I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe this was happening to my son. Other students who were in that classroom say as soon as they saw a gun, Kendrick lunged toward the suspect, saving the lives of his teacher and so many other classmates. One of the kids told me that, like a flash, he jumped up. She said, you know, he's a hero, he saved me. He said he jumped up and he ran. He said you couldn't even see how fast he was running, you know, out the door and after this person to tackle him. No, no, not at all, you know, because we raised him that way. We raised him to be good and, you know, I kind of, man, until you're a parent and you have something like this happen, you struggle with that. You know, I know that because of what he did, others are alive. And I thank God for that. I love him. And he's a hero. He always will be. But there's another part of you that wishes he would have just turned and ran, retreated, hid, you know, did something to put himself out of harm's way if that was possible. But we know Kendrick. Maria will tell you that it's no surprise that if danger was facing him, he would approach it, you know, and take it on if it was something like that, you know. And uh, I don't know. I'd like the world to know that, you know, this wasn't your average kid. And uh, as people, people don't believe that, you know, Google him, research him, find out things about him. But you're going to know that he was extraordinary. Again, what happened in Colorado marks the 35th school shooting in this country in this school year alone.